All right, so uh, here's the oil tank clean and check up. Check, check. Take your standard 1157-56. You solder some wire on there. This we use cloth wire. It didn't come from Dixie 100 years ago. It's the only thing, the only thing in the shop that hasn't come from Dixie 100 years ago. Hooked it up to the standard battery charger. Notice how we're very safe with all the uh, grounding of t-shirts and dirty shop rags. Now you got some nice light. You stick it down in there. Put your nose up to the can. What are you seeing there? What are you seeing there? Is it in there? It's in there. Can you see it in the phone? I can see it in the phone. Like a, okay. like a mother. Yeah, you can see it. Well, you might not be able to see it around the corner on the phone, but... Well, I have the special... I have the special... You idea of what, how, how all of that works, right? Yeah, I actually got a pretty good shot. If you look in there, you can actually see how they plumb the inside of the oil tank. Yeah, that's a big deal. So when you fall over... Well, you that's don't, not on that one. Not on this one? No. Why you got to mess up my video? No, because this is an early tank, and come follow me. That's the feed. Yep. If you look inside the tank, there's a pipe that comes like this, and then comes over here. You That's should correct. be able to see it. I did see it. I am. All right. That's the pickup. Hey, <laughs> you come here often? <laughs> what's, a, what's a nice tank like right. you doing? It? Yeah, so I can you see got the that? pickup. Yep. Now, you probably won't get it with the phone, but you can't see how the chain oiler works. That's way over here. Yeah, you can't see that. What happens is inside this thing, there's a little pipe that goes up with a little funnel on the top. And this is a return fitting, and inside the return fitting, there's a little piece that sticks off, a little tube, and that tube has a little weep hole that allows some of that return oil to dribble down into this pipe that's hooked to this thing, oils the chain. No kidding. No kidding. Doesn't just come out of the bottom of the tank? Doesn't there? just come out of the bottom of the tank. So that's this way. The idea is it's not, it doesn't drain out, it doesn't yeah. leak out when the bike's not running. Hmm. All right. So the thing is, you can't have the oil level over the top of this pickup tube, or else when you lean the bike on the kickstand, it all drains out the freaking oh, chain yeah, oil. Yeah. That's why they're like leave a little air space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this oil tank, because the pickup comes way over here, is fine if you're riding down the road or riding down the trail, if you will. Let's take this guy out of here. Turn that some bitch off. All right, yeah. Eat. Okay. Now, you're riding down the road or the trail, and you fall over on the primary side. No big issue, because this thing, on an early tank, mid-62 and earlier, is over here. Is over here. But if you fall down this way. On the primary side. This side's primary this side. side. You could be in the air over here now. Yeah, yeah. All right? So what AC did with the later tank... It took me a long time to figure all of this out. What AC did in the later tank is they got away from this whole action yep. and these four fittings, and they went to the three-fitting tank with the big, with show the big, me out of here. Yeah, with the big knuckle. All right, so that big knuckle, this feed fitting, was moved down to here. Now, when they did that, inside the oil tank, with that big, do we have an oil tank here? We, there's one on the I, chopper. I, yeah, no, yeah. Is that an early one over there? Yeah. Don't worry about it. No, it's a late one. What's on this thing? On the arch, on the on that bike is off the old chopper. This one's all right. It doesn't matter. We don't really have to go out and get it. Anyhow, the later oil tank with the chummy that comes down here and the fucking and the feed fitting that goes in over here. Yep. What happens is inside that big nipple that sticks out, inside this oil tank there's a probably an inch and a half diameter tube that sticks up there. It looks like a piece of exhaust pipe, if you will, with a couple of holes drilled in the side. This return fitting in those tanks has the same action where it dribbles into the chain oil. Right? But the, now the tube comes over and points right into the top of this. I call, I call it the toilet paper tube. Okay. That would be inside of here. Yeah, yeah. That this guy sucks out of. So even if the bike is laying on its side, you're going to get some kind of stuff that's going to roll into the toilet paper tube and roll down here and hopefully get a little bit of freaking oil into your bike. Now, you don't got to worry too much about it because usually when your bike is laying on its side... You're shutting it off. <laughs> usually, well, usually it doesn't have a whole lot of force on it. It could be revving to five grand. Yeah, but no. But yeah, there's not, usually not a whole lot of force going on. So I think that's why they did all that. 
any of you guys with the later tanks, if you go riding down the road, you put your hand on the tank here, you feel how hot the oil is. Then go put your hand down here where the little nipple is, if you will. That nipple yep, is yeah, there. Yep. And you will notice a definite difference in oil temperature because most of this oil is just getting recirculated like this. Gotcha. All right, so the oil tank's clean, and we're going to put it on. Oh, also, notice this is a 59 XLCH, no dipstick. Not that it fell out. There's no dimple in there. Yeah, there's no, there's no stake mark. There's no stake mark. There's no nothing. The hole's yeah, there. We're, we're still holding up in the air. We think that it was 62. 62. We, think, we think it was 62 the dipstick came out. All right, All right that's it.